Every year in Toulouse, the equipment manufacturer Liber Aerospace carries out around 15 tests in an unusual place called an anechoic chamber. In this bunker, completely independent of the building in which it is located, cones are fixed to the walls, a means of capturing the majority of sound waves and therefore noise. Here the teams measure the real noise generated by an air conditioning pack, for example. As Liber Aerospace's development testing manager Mireille Le Masson explains, aircraft manufacturers call for noise standards both on the outside of the aircraft of 77 decibels and also between 65 to 75 decibels to meet aircraft cabin interior acoustic standards. To measure the noise level of the equipment per se, the pack must be positioned inside the chamber. The temperature is reduced to minus 40 degrees centigrade, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and then increased to 80 degrees centigrade or 176 degrees Fahrenheit in order to simulate the operating conditions to which the equipment will be subjected. However, to measure the noise of the equipment's outlet air, the air conditioning pack is installed outside the anechoic chamber in this room. Once in operation, the outlet air is then released into the awaiting chamber, in which they have a large number of microphones waiting to measure the exact acoustic level emanating from their equipment's air outlet. Around one week's testing may be required for each piece of developmental equipment. If the noise level meets the regulatory standards, it can be marketed. Otherwise, corrective measures, such as the addition of silences similar to those found on car exhaust pipes, should be undertaken.